All right, welcome back. And um, we got some work to do today. We got to get a closing pitcher. That's exactly what we're going to do right here. And uh, we needed a closer because we didn't have one, and that's not okay. So adjust the mic a little bit there, hopefully. Sorry, popping all over the place, but that's how we're going to be for the moment. And check this out. We are on the road again. Boardwalk Mullets on the road at Big Sky against the, the Lakewood Dazzlers. And uh, we're going to take a look at this bench situation because we had uh, who moved in for Happy K's in right field. Batted very well for us yesterday. So I'm somewhat tempted to give Tiago a day off and try a new right fielder as we get this season going. So I think that is what we're going to do. And we're going to get Happy K's in the lineup Um and I don't know that he necessarily needs to bat third. Uh, I want to put him maybe in, like, the fifth spot. Let's put him there. And uh, I'm okay with most of this. Canopy Cannon, Charlie Jackson. I think this is not bad. It's, uh, it's not great. And on the mound today... Well, we have Lily Rocket making her Bullets debut. So what do you say? Let's crank it up and play some baseball from Big Sky. From Lakewood, Colorado. Game two. Here we go. The fans are ready to go at Big Sky Ball Club. Absolutely, it's baseball time back here in Super Mega Baseball 4. Airplanes taking off nearby, and we are ready for game two. The first baseman, number 29, Jacqueline Jackson. Jacqueline Jackson is ready, and so are we as we step out of the box for a minute. <sighs> Take a breath. Sorry. It's very obnoxious. Step on in and let's play some ball. Not even close, and we are underway. I'm all right with her with a 2 0 count. There's a strike. There, we'll make you throw one before we start swinging. Strike. Oh, that was a. Oh, a strikeout to start the game. Now, what you want to see. Charlie Angeles. Scoot the mic. Just a little bit here, and hope that helps. Charlie had a rip at that one. Ball. All right, trying to see what we can get done here with uh, with Charlie. Ball outside. Mm, not gonna do it on that one. Ball ball right had a piece, did Charlie? There it is. And stay at first. She's got herself a single. Now back, center fielder, number 13, Canopy Cannon. Now Canopy Cannon with a runner on. Can we do something? I've been working on trying to be more patient at the plate. And it's paying off. 2-0. I had one to swing at. Foul it. Did Canopy. That's high. 3-1 count. Got to step out. Take a breath. Get back in there. Big swing and a miss there for Canopy Cannon. Full count. Swing and a drive. Canopy Cannon. First home run of the season for the Bullets. Canopy Cannon. Got a full count and got all of that baseball. And all of a sudden the Bullets have the lead. In the first. And here's Blamo Battery fired up after that homer. Love to see it as she. Better believe it, a strike. Wow, 0 2 count in a hurry. I'm not swinging at that. That's high. All right, come on now. Oh, outside. Good count. Oh, look at that one to 
get the second out of the inning, but that's all right. All right, Happy Kays, who uh, came in off the bench in yesterday's ball game. Happy Kays swinging a drive. That's got a chance. Not quite going to be enough. And the first inning, a couple of home runs, or a couple of runs on the home run. Good to see it. And now Lily Rocket will be taking the mound. And we'll see what she's got against these hometown Dazzlers. All right. And here she is. And if we go ahead down here and take a look at our traits. We got a bad ball hitter on the mound. And uh, unfortunately, Lily is walk prone. So her uh, accuracy is going to fall uh, when pitching with a three ball count. So that's something we got to keep in mind today. Lily features a slider, a changeup, a curve, and a four seam fastball. So. Hey, I, I have my controller. I'm talking about our pitcher, okay? And Lily, start it off. So, bless you. Well, she's sneezing. No wonder she can't focus, poor thing. All right. That one could have been trouble. Thank goodness it wasn't. And Lily? Not getting a call. And, uh... In danger of activating that walk-prone trait. Let's try for a curve. Uh-oh. No, so we're going to lose some accuracy here with Lily. This is that walk-prone trait. And there's a good pitch to fill the count. Lily, trying to get out of an early count of her being behind. And that... Wow, that one was a mistake, and we are going to pay for that one. Not quite with a home run, but close to, and uh, runner breaks for third. Throw is in not even the neighborhood of being in time, and Lily is pitching with a runner 90 feet away. So trouble afoot here for Lily Rocket early against the Dazzlers. And continuing to be so, as that was low. There's one in there. They count one and one. Molly catching for Lily today. And uh, trying to set him up well. Just not getting the call early. He's got a wicked curve. Not where you want it, but we'll take it. For a strikeout, Lily's got her first as a bullet. Jack Jennings in the box now for Lakewood. Swings and fouls it away in a hurry. Fouled another one, and Jennings behind 0-2 to Lily Rocket. She's going for her second strikeout of the night, and she won't have it as that curve is fouled away. And another foul for Lily. And uh, Molly signaling outside here, and the pitch from Rocket is low and outside. And uh, Lily with a 1-2, and two, wait. No, I'm not reading that right, am I? Yeah, one and two count. I'm blind. All right. And that's high, evening the count at two. Yeah, the wicked screwball was working in game one. Let's see what Lily's looks like. That's not going to be in the zone. And that's going to fill the count and uh, put trouble afoot. What a pitch for Lily. Getting out of a three ball count there to strike out the batter. Clara Ross and uh, Lily trying to strand that runner at third base. And that's low. Molly trying to frame them, not doing a great job. Lily struggling with command. And that ball is hit a long way, and that ball is going to get to the wall. 
And it should be our first run of the game, and it will be. And if we're not careful, it's going to be the second run of the game, too. And another triple on what is probably down to bad defense on, on my part. Okay. Well, not what you want to see, but it's what we have regardless of whether you want to see it or not. And uh, a first pitch slayer. Not the trait you want to see with a runner on third. All right. We have uh, avoided the first pitch slayer trade a little bit. Also gotten behind in the count. And a three ball count again. Lily finding herself in trouble in this ball game. And that one's a strike. But the count is three and one. Lily Rocket. Not having the easiest time of finding the zone in this one. Molly putting the sign for the slider, the pitch. Fouled off again, and the count is full as Lily putting herself in harm's way for what feels like about the tenth time this inning. And a strike out there for Lily Rocket gets her out of further damage. Only one run as the score is 2-1 as we move to the top of inning number two. You love to see it? Top of the second. Here we go. And that's going to bring up Melody Ferguson in the box for the Boardwalk Bullets. Second game on the road early in the season as Melody takes a ball. A one and one count to Melody Ferguson, who had a decent game one. Nothing to write home about. And that's something to write home about. Melody drives one way out of here. And that one run that Lily gave up is erased with a single solo slam from Melody Ferguson. Details on the screen. She's pretty happy about that, as are the Bullets, who lead this ball game three to one. Well, you love to see it, and here is Molly. Takes that low. Nope, low. Two in a row and they're both low. Molly had a rip. 2-1. Takes a strike to even the count. 22. Way low and full count to Molly. And that should get foul or it's going to be caught. That's... And Molly able to take the walk. Passing the baton. Right on to Tiny Biggs. And uh, see if we can do something with Molly. Swung on a bad one there, and it's 0-1. Tiny Biggs. Molly easily thrown out there. She... Started running too early, and she is gone. Tiny Biggs is going to ground one, and in the blink of an eye, or what feels like so, there are two down. Number three, Lily and the first at-bat has a bullet. Bright pink for Lily. All right. Lily had a, a cut, and sends a souvenir into the seats here at Lakewood. And Lily Rocket with a drive. Catchable, unfortunately, but she had a hold of one. And it's 3-1 to one as we move to the bottom of inning number two. And Lily better hurry up out there. She's got to exchange her batting gloves for her pitching glove and get herself organized. As Cooper Cooper stands in for... A Dazzlers team that has been done favors by Lily's poor location and yet still trails in this ball game. And that ground ball is going to be good for the first out for Cooper Cooper. Vanessa Carpenter, the next batter for the Lakewood Dazzlers. Lily throwing some heat there. 
gets ahead 0-1. Lily with an 0-2 count. Can she get her first immaculate strikeout? Curveball is there, and there it is. And she's happy about that one on three pitches. For someone that struggles a little with location, you love to see the enthusiasm there from Ms. Rocket. Now, I hear the drums. We have a trait. A bad ball hitter. Well, that's not what you want to see against a pitcher like Rocket. As that one is high, but in there. And Lily. Pitching effectively as she's in another 0-2 spot. Molly looks pretty pleased at the plate. And you can't locate a fastball much better than that, but no swing. And that could be another ground ball out, and it will be for Lily Rocket, who pitches well. Puts a goose egg up on the scoreboard. We move to inning number three. And three runs for us, the Bullets. Just the one. Four. Jackson is fired up, ahead by two, looking to do more damage here in the... Th So I'm gonna bad one did Jackson. Had a rip. Foul that one 0-2 for Jacqueline Jackson who strikes out. Throws the bat down. Now well, here's Charlie. Hasn't been as clutch as a bullet as she was as a member of the Detroit Victory in our Super Mega Baseball 3 series. She takes one high. That just about hits Charlie. She's gonna have to step out, recover, and it's two and zero. Oh. That one almost uh, got her pretty good. Charlie, had that stayed fair, that would have been trouble. And that's a high pop up out there. Plenty of area to cover that one, and Charlie is gone. The center field, number thirteen. Canopy Cannon coming in to crack one out of here. And he had a rip and foul it. And two power pitches, or his power swings, two strikes. Canopy takes one low. Canopy Cannon with a drive. That's out there, but that might have distance, and that's going to clear the wall. Canopy Cannon! And another home run in this game. This is uh, holding up to really be authentic to Colorado. Apologies for how loud that call was. I heard that in the mic, so I'll try to tone her down a bit. Hard to know with this new mic, you know, what the situation needs to be for plosives and those types of things. Actually, this might be a good spot where... Black licorice, that sounds good to me as a fly ball is left center field and playable and caught. But another run on the canopy cannon, no, was that canopy? Someone hit a home run, you were paying attention, I was not. We move to the bottom half of the third. Everdale. Royal Thunder in the box. What a name. And Lily doesn't seem to want to pitch. All right. Lily and Molly on the same page. And this one that's grounded, playable, throwable, outable. Very good. Rick North stands in, and uh, Lily is not pitching badly in this ball game. As another ground ball, playable, throwable, outable, and Lily is two outs into this inning before having thrown more than a handful of pitches. I wasn't paying attention to who's batting. You probably were, and that's too high. Lily pitching well after giving up a couple of uh, on-base runners and some trouble in the early innings has settled in 
to this ball game. And she blasts a ground ball there that's going to get through, or he, somebody did. All right, Jack Jennings in with one on. That's a strike to Jennings. Not where you want to miss, but Lily got away with it there for an 0-2 count to Jack Jennings. And she strikes him out. Wow. What a time. And we move to the fourth inning. Get your candy corn indeed. Do you guys have a snack? This is a good game for a snack. Happy Kays, who has had a good ball game. Again, I gotta elevate my TV so I can read the stats better. But Happy Kays lifts it left long out of this ballpark. No. Uh, but he is going to be in there with a double. Could have maybe gone for three. It's hard for me to see with the lighting out there what the uh, situation is with the ball, so I got a little excited. Here's Melanie. Just put it in play, and she does a well job. Oh, boy, everybody get back, and that's not going to happen. A double play, and here's Molly. Takes one outside. My bad base running. Giving us fits, but we are ahead, so it's acceptable. Actually, it's not, but uh, I can't undo it. Uh, pop up for the ages. That one, uh, maybe it'd be a home run in a toll booth, but probably not. And uh, with that, the bullets are gone in the fourth. And Lily? I say she stays out, and if we get too much trouble afoot, then we uh, move to the pen. Where in the world's my baseball? I don't know. We're going to just throw one and find out what's going on here. Something's not right. Oh, I'm bonking the, the trigger with uh, a water bottle. That's what was that. I thought I heard a weird noise. All right, Lily. How about some uh, a power-pitched curve? That is disgusting. And another strikeout for a... Pitcher I'm becoming fond of in Lily Rocket. I do need to give a shout out, by the way, to Dave Show. If you've ever uh, seen his channel, he does some great Super Mega Baseball content. Um, and this was a uh, apparently a generated name that he had uh, had on, I don't know if it was on his team or just in his league or a little bit of both. And I just, I heard it and I was like, I, we got to have especially a pitcher named Lily Rocket. I like that. And uh, I thought he had came up with it. And so I said, can I use that name? And he said, well, it was one the game gave me, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, but I uh, wanted to ask, and so I had to give him a shout-out for the interactivity and the willingness to share. So thank you, Dave Schill. And another strikeout for Lily Rocket, who is rolling, rocketing, and rolling in this ball game. She gave up one and promptly settled in. And another strike, and Lily could be in for a good one. And that's foul down the line. Well, another good count for Lily. No, inside ball. That's not quite going to do it. Pitching a little more cautiously, but uh, no reason to. You get one and just go after him. And that's inside in the full count there to Lily. And a strikeout. Lily, what an inning. I mean, it took some doing, but... I didn't hear any of the rest of that, but I like going on the cob. I'm a Midwesterner. I I can't say no. Here's Tiny Biggs. Swinging too late and behind 0-1. That ball is high. Tiny in a 1-1 count. Tiny fouls it off third base side. Had a cut. And another ball. Tiny Big stands in and swings. And he puts one in the air. Right center field. Catchable, playable, caught. And that's going to bring up Lily, who I'm going to leave in. I uh, 
I believe in Miss Rocket. She's pitching well, and I don't believe she needs to be taken out of this ballgame just yet as she grounds one to the left and playable and caught. Jacqueline Jackson. And has a rip, does Jackson. That's going a long way. Not quite long enough. But she's in. No! She's out at second base to end the inning. Oh! Ouchie. Well, that one hurts. It hurts my heart. Okay. I gotta take a minute. That one was brutal. All right. Melissa Carpenter. Lily. All right, an outside pitch there. Better believe it, a strike. All right. A nice swing there. <laughs> got the butter because you just got toasted. I like that. And that's grounded. And thank goodness it was foul. What a pitch. Able to get a piece was Melissa. And Lily. Looking to put her away. Little mono e mono and Lily picks up another K. And here she is. She took a break from Winterfell to pick up Needle. Needle is now a bat. And here is Arya Stark who swings and misses. Lily ahead in the count. Oh, one. A pitch to Arya. Ground ball. Playable. Throwable. Outable. Arya is gone. Number 19, Ding Decker. Ding Decker. Well, Mackenzie Kell, or Kell, I don't know which. It's a foul ball to start her at-bat. Or his at-bat, I suppose Mackenzie could go either way. Oh, wow, Lily making Mackenzie look ridiculous with that one. And Lily not able to pick up the strikeout. Molly putting down the sign for the heater. Here it is. Lily picks up another one. And wow. What a situation we are in. There's Mackenzie. Oh, Mackenzie Hill. I'm blind. What are you going to do about it? And uh, they're putting in Mitch Morris. Okay. Sounds good to me. And uh, we're moving. We're moving into the sixth of this one. Number seven, Charlie Angeles. Charlie looking to add to the lead in Skies one. That could be playable in foul territory, and it will be. One pitch, one out for Charlie. Canopy Cannon. Canopy Cannon, I, I want to say he's hit a, a, a bomb tonight. And that's trying to be another one. Canopy puts a charge into that ball. Unfortunately, it is playable and caught. Blammo battery in the house. We'll get to why she's important during our first home game in the team lore of the Boardwalk Bullets. Blammo puts a charge into that one, and that's going to be caught. And that's it for the Bullets in the sixth. And uh, we move to the bottom half. Lily staying in there. After having given up one, she has settled in and is still in this ball game as she gives up a single. I think if we see one more uh, player reaching base, then Lily's night will be done. But she has earned the right to pitch in some trouble. And pitching in some trouble, she is indeed. That was foul, but not by much. Got to be careful of those. Mistake pitches. No, 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 no. That ball's inside. All right. Lily now behind in this count, and here it is. A grounder foul. Lily almost picked up the K there. Not quite enough. And 
Oh wow, what a what a battle here is Lily putting up. And there it is, Lily. She heard that. She says, I'm not I'm not leaving. I'm staying in this ball game until I get it done. And get it done, she has after that uh, rough first inning. And that's going to get through, which means the night for Lily Rocket is going to get that ball in. What are you doing? All right, runners on the corners now, and that could be trouble. Okay, everybody is safe. That was a disaster. Unfortunately, that's got to be it for Miss Rocket. And um, we're going to bring in... Uh, Oh, who do we go for here? I, uh, I'm thinking Flip Bats. Now pitching, Flip Bats. All right, Flip Bats, first appearance of the season. Kind of using Flip as a, a setup guy. We got a four seam, a two seam, and a change of pace. For Flip Bats and... Oh, man. Too low. You gotta pitch carefully here. A high pop-up and gonna be catchable, playable, and out. Here's Oliver Homebrew, famous for making uh, his own beer here in Colorado. And a strike to start the at-bat is... That's way too low. An even count for Flip Bats and Oliver Homebrew, and uh, here it is. And that's going to get through and score at least one, possibly two runs. And all of a sudden, we're looking at a very different ball game. Well, the Bullets bullpen in danger of blowing this ball game 4-3 now. There's a strike from Flip, flip Bats, and uh, a high changeup there is apparently in there. A one and two count. Flip Bats deals, and that's a strikeout and a big one and a big one moving to the seventh a one run ball game this could get ugly now back, the right field, number 60, happy K. but happy K is gonna stand in first to try and uh, see what he can do about not letting it get to that point and that's grounded thrown and happy is gone it's going to uh, bring up Melody Ferguson, who has uh, been trying to put the ball in play more. Trying to work on her patience at the plate. Didn't need it in that at-bat. Swings and flies right out. Molly O'Connor stands in. Takes that, but that's a strike. And that's going to get through for Molly. No, it's not. Okay. Well, bottom of the seventh. And trouble afoot indeed. We are going to the pen again. And this time, we are bringing on the newest addition to this ball club. Our closing picture. Pic, blah, blah, closing pitcher, rather. And that is Alvin Lawrence. Now pitching Alvin Lawrence. So here is Alvin Lawrence and uh, a four-seamer, a curve ball, and that's it. So two pitches, insane velocity for Lawrence. There's a strike for Alvin. Well, there's no better way to prove yourself as a closer than to come in with a one-run lead on the road and try to pick up a win and Alvin dealing 
as a 2-2 count now. And here it is, 2-2. Alvin fouled. And now, now it's not which pitch, it's where to put it. Melody, Molly rather, sets up. And that's going to fill the count. And Alvin... Got to go to the secondary stuff. That is not even close to the zone and going to be a walk. That puts the tying run on base. And Aria Stark represents the winning run for the Dazzlers on this. Aria fouls one off. In between pitches. Can usually see her referencing her list and lays down a beautiful bunt. Not a common sight. Well, here is Megan something or other. And another bunt. Megan is gone, but that runner is, I believe, at second. Well, here's Rick North, and strikey, strike, strike, indeed. Alvin Lawrence in an 0-2 count with two gone, trying to catch win number two for the Bullets on the road. Too low. Way too low with that pitch. <laughs> Outside. Well, two balls, two strikes. Two outs, the brand new closer trying to put away this Dazzlers ball club. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Alvin Lawrence proves to be a valuable pickup immediately as the Bullets hold on to win a nail-biter. Final score, Boardwalk Bullets 4 Lakewood Dazzlers 3 and your totals were almost identical 4 runs, 6 hits and an error for the victorious Bullets, 3 runs on 6 hits with no errors that for the Dazzlers, let's get you a look at the totals here and you can see the the averages and the numbers is, 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 and uh, all that kind of stuff um yeah, you read those. We'll move on to the smaller numbers. And uh, there it is. What a ball game. As we go to your clean dugout league, MVPs of the ball game in third place today, Melody. As uh, she went one for three with a homer tonight, an RBI and a run scored, I believe. I may be reading these wrong. Lily Rocket has to be given a tip of the cap in this one. She is your runner-up as she went five and a third innings with a... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to see this. Five strikeouts, I believe is what they're. Five hits, three earned runs, and 11 strikeouts. Sorry, these are hard for me to read. And a Canopy Cannon tonight with a couple of homers, I believe. So, good stuff. What a ball game. You, you don't get much more intense than that was right there in terms of picking up a win. Wow. So, there it is. Game two. And you guys know what that means. We're going to head over here, right here, to our ego. Maybe if I can... Find the buttons. All right. Hitting is going to 43. Base running is going to 31. Pitching is going to 35. We're, we're going to really up that um, because I want a challenge. I want something that's going to be uh, riskier. So we'll continue to up the, the egos uh, as we continue to uh, get wins, that sort of thing. And uh, look at that. We are in a good spot here. Um, I know I said we'd take a look at player development. Uh, we will leave that for the next ball game. 
Uh, in between some of these, I think I'm going to actually sit and watch some of these CPU games as I continue to uh, hang out here and get ready for Game 3, which probably won't be until Saturday and off day tomorrow. Um, trying to sort out some new schedule things, trying to sort out some job things, that sort of... Uh, Shenaniganry going on on my end, but look out for part three on Saturday, most likely. Thank you for watching the Boardwalk Bullets franchise here in Super Mega Baseball 4. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, queries, or anything else at all, please leave them in those comments section down below, and we will see you for our next ballgame. Peace.